happy Friday afternoon everybody and welcome to another episode of one beer leads to another we're on Cape Cod again today and headed to Dad Martha's Farmers Brewery in Falmouth Massachusetts now Bad Martha's is originally from Martha's Vineyard there's a whole story about how Martha's Vineyard got its name and Bad Martha is kind of a play on that um, but we are actually going to the Bad Martha's in Falmouth which is on Cape Cod uh, they opened this I want to say about a year ago and of course they were uh, impacted uh, by the COVID but here we are there's Bad Martha's it says they're open and we are going to go inside and see what's going on. So here's a little panorama around the brewery. I'm sitting outside on the deck here. You can see it's a gorgeous day here in Massachusetts, probably about 62 degrees, and everybody is out enjoying the day. <clears throat> So they just brought my flight out. Um, I got the Czech style pills. I got the mischievous mermaid. I got the Captain Bart stout and the wicked coffee porter. I'm gonna start with the Czech style pills because I figure if you can't do the basic stuff, uh, you shouldn't be in business. Mm, that's really good. It's nice and crisp and fresh. Um, it says on here it's a traditional Czech style Pilsner um, with a slightly bitter aftertaste, which it is, but it's not overpowering. Um, it's a really, really good summer day drinker. I would highly recommend this. I think this gets, it gets three champlies. So this is the Mischievous Mermaid. It is a New England IPA. I got this in honor of Stephen Keevil, who's a regular viewer of the channel. Um, it says, hazy with a medium mouth feel and big tropical and juicy aroma flavors. Let's see if that pans out. Oh, that's really good. I can really taste the fruit in that. It's so the hoppiness comes through, um, but I can also taste the fruitiness as well. It's a very, very nice balance. I would give this four Champlays. So, gang, this is a really, really nice charcuterie plate. Um, the salami is very good. The uh, that is a smoked provolone on the right, a cave aged cheddar in the middle, and then a munster in on over on this side. Um, really, really tasty charcuterie plate here at Bad Martha's. So, this is the Wicked Coffee Porter. It says, oh, I'm on the tasting menu. Let me scroll down. The Wicked Coffee Porter. It says, dark, smooth, and roasty with Cape Cod cold brew coffee added to give it a nice little kick. So, traditional sort of smooth porter flavor with that coffee kick to it. Um, really, really nice beer. I would give it three and a half Champlains. So the last beer in my flight is the Captain Bart's Stout. It says on the menu, a stout with a nice smooth body backed by a robust roasty flavor that finishes with a nice chocolate aftertaste. So let's go ahead and see if that's true. Mm. 
that's actually a perfect description. It's a nice, full-bodied, rich uh, stout. Uh, it's very smooth, and then it's got, it's, it's almost as if you had a piece of dark chocolate, that, that sort of aftertaste that you have in the back of your throat after you have a little piece of dark chocolate. It sneaks right up on you. Mm, that's really, really good. I would, I would give that four and a half champlays. I want to say one more thing about the charcuterie plate. Um, it's really, really good for cleansing your palate between beers if you're doing a flight. Um, the water works okay. But if you have a taste of one of these pepperonis and a couple pieces of cheese, it completely clears your palate to enjoy the next beer, which we're going to do here in a second. Yes. All right, gang, so we're back here at Bad Martha's in Falmouth, and I wanted to try one of the IPAs, and my waitress, Carrie, who's been very helpful today, she said, well, why don't I give you a sample of each one? Now, which one is which? The front one is the 508 IPA, and the back one is the Double Happiness. And which is the one that you recommended? I love the 508 IPA. You love the 508. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and try these. Okay, so here are the IPAs that Carrie recommended. This is the um, 508. It says the 508 is an American-style IPA brewed with mosaic and centennial hops for refreshing notes and aromas of grapefruit. I, I don't really get the grapefruit. I have to say, one of my consistent criticisms of the IPAs is that they have these, quote, hints of fruit, but they're, to, at least to my palate, and again, this is my palate, you might be different. To my palate, the hints, the hints of fruit are often overwhelmed by the hoppiness of the beer. And that is clearly the case with the 508 IPA. I'm, I'm not saying it's a bad beer. I'm not saying that I don't like it. I'm just saying that I do not get the hints of grapefruit in this. Yeah, no, not at all. But it was nice of Carrie to give me a little sampling of it. So now we're going to try the other IPA that Carrie was nice enough to give me a mini sample of. This is the Double Hoppiness Imperial IPA. It says this is a hazy double IPA brewed with Amarillo and Centennial hops, giving it a big piney and citrusy flavor. So let's see. I definitely get the piney in there and there is a hint again just only a hint of the citrusy flavor i i really don't sense it coming through um it's a very good double ipa i do i, I do get the the sort of piney aftertaste with it um so i would give the double hoppiness i would give that uh four champleys and i would give the 508 ipa um i give that five ch or four champleys as well um both are very good ipas i just I, and it may be my palate i just didn't get the hint of fruit in there at all Okay guys, we're finishing up our visit here to Bad Martha's in Falmouth. I really, really enjoyed this brewery. Um, the beers were really good, but on top of that, the food was utterly fantastic. I had the charcuterie plate. Um, I'd read about the pizzas online. A lot of people loved the pizzas. They looked really good. I would definitely come back here. I've actually been to the Bad Martha's in uh, Martha's Vineyard, but this is the one in Falmouth and it did not disappoint. So big thumbs up, Bad Martha's Farmers Brewery, Falmouth, Massachusetts.